Hey there again, folks. Welcome back to Pencil Hunter. Back to the 90s. And we're picking out, picking back up here in Inko's room. Uh, between the, uh, between now and the last episode, I looked on the, uh, in the guide and, uh, I found out how to get the other two scenes and uh, the last pair of panties. So, first off, it's too normal for Anko. Wait, I already did that one. It's been it's been a day. I did that one already. Well, which one of these did I not do? I was thinking I should have clicked on it. The other thing is I need to feed the fish. Seems like strong drugs. When did I come here? I don't feed the fish! I don't know how to feed the fish, that bad comet. If I click, keep clicking on it. I was thinking maybe I could. Uh, Feed it to drugs. But I didn't know for sure, so I wound up uh, getting the uh, getting food from the uh, at the beginning uh, are saying uh, I'll keep some for uh, for the match. I was thinking, hey, maybe that'd be an alternate way to feed it if need be, but hmm. Yeah, I figured you'd be able to feed it to drugs. Dang it. Maybe you could get, take that. Okay. Well, dang. Most unprofessional YouTuber ever. Let's go back and... Let's go back here and see if I can find out how to actually do it. Does it have anything here about maybe... Anything about fish so I can see... Uh... Hmm. Oh, dang it. Stop it. Okay, well, let's get the batteries. The scissors, you know, will probably be useful. Let's go and hit skill. Uh, you've already come. Now, did I get yummy? I did get yummy. Okay. Hmm. What the crap do I do here? Let's just see. Let's, let's go to the uh, let's go to the forum to the Steam forums. Most of these are in Russian. That doesn't help me. How do you feed the dang fish? Yeah, how do you feed the how do you feed the freaking fish? Is there anything else I can eat here? I was thinking that the apple would give me the option, uh, but it doesn't. I, I didn't remember that. It's been a day since I. Uh, it's been a day in between since the. Uh, since I did the uh, the last one, so how do I get fish food? Well, I think I just clicked on uh, she's cute. So confused. Let me look through everything and see if maybe there's some food, some more food I can get in here. Mm 
It looks like a little hammer. I don't think I mentioned that. It looks like a like a like a mallet. Empty. I'm so confused. What? Why didn't let me in there? Oh, I, maybe I have to. This game, I like this game, but the specifics of it is. It's a bit annoying. It really is. Oh, I gotta be careful. I think I have to yeah, to move forward. I think I think I had this problem before. I had to I have to say something about uh about uh, didn't know you had a sister in order to get into a room. It's what I did before, but I, w I wasn't caring. I was just like trying to skip through it a minute ago. Okay. So now I can go back in here. Okay. Yeah, there's the panties. Where's the last pair of pan uh, panties that we're supposed to do, too? I don't see anything that would be fish food here. Yeah, we knocked 13 times last time. And... Hmm. On the well, on, on the on the guide, it'd be nice if it told what panties were what. I think it was people who I think they uh, they were thinking the guide would be for people who weren't actually trying to play the game and then trying to pick up what they missed. Or either those people would have really good memories, which. Yeah, you can't drag. Dead gummit. There's nothing on the oven. Don't don't sit down. You can go back and forth uh, from the room. How do you feed the dang fish? If I can't figure it out uh, in the next. Uh, say five minutes. I'm just going to skip it and figure it out on my own. But I, I, I would like to actually do this uh, on the video. Okay, let's, let's at least get the, the other pair of panties. What? See what the guide says here. Oh, you know what? Maybe we didn't get that one. Let me let me go and say retry. Okay. Take the batteries. I'll tell you news, but I think I don't. I, I thought I did this one. I'll tell you about the news. We helped in this. We we did both these, didn't we? Yeah, one ends it. Yeah, don't help her. We just leave, right? It says, uh, return to Yukari's room after talking. Oh, we did something different. Oh, crap. Whoa. That's different. 
Oh crap! Have you finished already? Oh, oops. Of course. Thanks again. For a second, you see. Uh... Ikari accidentally pulls the cable out of the socket. Ah, uh, what? It seems that something happened to the antenna. What did I miss there? Let's go eat and then study. Okay, go. Hey, are you staying? Will you eat with us? Oh, say no. Hmm. You rummaged in the room, found a dreamy, a dreamy panties, and went home. Huh. What happened there? That I thought that was all going to be a lot of the same stuff I already did. Did I not offer to help? Hmm. Let's go ahead and do that again. And, uh... We'll, we'll actually pay attention once it says, uh... Um... Uh, helper. Can I not do that? Thank you. I'm in your debt. Why don't you go to the university? Well, I'm just tired. Studying is obviously not my... I don't want to discuss this. But now football's starting. Well, I gotta go to the tournament. Let's go to my sister's room. Sister! We came to study! Oh. And who's this? Ah. Uh, well, this is... Well... Hello. Yes. Huh. I'll be sitting I feel like a much less interesting character in, in this uh, in this one. Yeah, do what you want. Oh yes, Yukari! I get to participate in the football tournament! If, of course, he will help me in my studies. Alright, come on. Where do I start? Perhaps with philosophy. Yeah, we, we did this before. Of oh, I accidentally pressed. Okay, so I didn't have the batteries in my hand the other time. So this is what changed. Me having the batteries. Right? That's why it says take the batteries. This game, it's kind of cool, but it's not very conducive for a let's play like this. Because... You gotta do like so many different combinations. You gotta remember what you did, which is a major problem for me. I can't remember, you know. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what I what I've done. Like there's a like this changes based on if you take the batteries or don't take the batteries. Make all the same decisions or all the same choices in conversation, I think. But and the batteries in your hand, I think, makes the TV come on. Well, after everything, it seems we lost her. Yes, she's hopeless. Can you help me around the house? My head hurts. There. The curry is made. Now just a little salt is needed. Three shakes. And please feed the oh. fish. Oh! Oh! the food. Oh! Yes! Yes, a pleasure! Thank you so much. No, thank you, Yukari. I needed the fish food. Well, let's go feed the fish. A cute little fish. Bon appetit. You seen available. We got we got all the scenes now. So add salt once. Add salt once. Three shakes. Have you finished already? Of course. Thanks again. For a second, you see. Uh... Corey accidentally pulls the cable out of the side. Okay. Uh, it seems that something. Let's. Okay. Hey, are you staying? We'll say yeah this time. Itadakimasu! 
Bon appétit. Fun. We're like family. It's amazing. Oh crap! I didn't mean to hit retract. We're we're good. We're good with this. We're we're done. We're done. Pulling the plug on this on on this on this You've one. Already come. Okay, I'm I'm I'll put the the guide back down. Don't wanna, don't want to accidentally spoil anything. So okay, yeah, we got all three scenes. Awesome. Okay. That's Haruka's dummy. But we should have all three scenes for them too. There we go. Okay, golden fish, taste the glory, and it's school ball. Yukari, hearing her name, the girl turned and met met the gaze of a dark haired man with glasses. He looked a bit older than her and smiled kindly. She did not return it. Do I know you? Yukari asked, uh, asked wearily. Yes, I often see you at this pet store, but you never buy anything. I actually got acquainted last time. My name is Takumi, and I work at a nearby cafe. Okay, Yukari answered, continuing to watch him unemotionally. I still don't remember. Okay, then I'll do something to help you remember. Takumi smiles and took the girl by the hand, pulling her toward the pet store. I'll buy you anything you want, kid or puppy. No, Yukari shook her head. Don't waste money on me. My sister hates all the fur that gets everywhere, and there's no way I can care for a pet. Sister doesn't sound very nice, nice he frowned. That's not true, Yukari objected. She cares about me. Okay, Takumi thought. And how about something small? What do you think? Look at the fish. Uh, Yukari smiled for the first time and moved uh, closer to the tanks. Takumi watched the joy on her face. It appeared that she really loved the pensive and mysterious creatures with long tails and bright fins. They are beautiful and small, just perfect. Can I help you? The sailor approached Takumi just uh, just as Yukari seemed to have made a choice. Um, what was the fish in Anko's room? <laughs> I get it might it'll probably tell. There Yukari po uh, pointed to the inexpensive, beautiful fish. I think we'll take that one. You have no eyes. It's really creepy, guy. The Kumi watched in fascination as the girl was uh, taken. The girl? What? The Kumi watched in fascination as the fish was taken from the tank and packaged. When the sailor had uh, finished with the fish and handed her the package carefully, the girl turned to thank and pay the man. But Takumi had cleverly paid for the fish and disappeared from the store. Two days later, uh, Yukari stood to the window of the pet store. Hello, Takumi's uh, cheerful voice surprised her, and uh, Yukari turned to see the black-haired fellow smiling charming, charmingly. Oh, hello, she answered. How's the fish? Takumi asked. Um, how do you know about it? Are you my sister's friend? asked the girl. The smile slowly faded from the man's face, replaced by both disappointment and confusion. Hmm. Does she have a really bad memory? Is this a joke, he asked? We met two days ago and I bought you a fish. I'm Takumi. No, you must have mixed, a, mixed this or something, the girl objected. My sister bought me that, brought me the fish. She probably noticed uh, that I like to come here. Oh, excuse me, Takumi turned and continued his walk to the cafe without looking back at Yukari, who looked after him for several minutes and then back to the pet shop window. Yeah, does she have? Does she have like uh, what Drew Barrymore had in uh, 51st Dates or something like a like her uh, her uh, long term memory is really bad. It's long term memory. I, I forget. I forget about that memory about that uh, about that uh, movie about memory. Get the details anyway. Anko was terribly nervous and constantly tugged at the bottom of her short dress. She had done everything possible to prepare for the school performance, clutching at the folder with, with the lyrics. She had gone over them all night and now just needed to ensure her makeup was, was in place. Looking around the room, she needed one urgently, but could already hear the announcer call her name. 
you needed one what not sure and now to begin this year's competition it's my honor to announce our first performance by Anko he'll be singing without you once he finished the room erupted into applause eagerly anticipating the talented singer Damn, if the class teacher hadn't threatened her with a bad mark for the year, Inko wouldn't have even considered participating in such an event. In addition, she had the, had the burden of children coming to see their heroine in, uh, perform. It was great that a good layer of makeup could mask the redness in her cheeks, but what about quelling the trembling in her voice and hands? <laughs> Sorry, I was just, uh, I was just thinking, uh, about her being nervous, made, uh, I watched, uh, rewatched uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia uh, a few weeks ago. It made, it made me uh, think of a uh, day trying to do stand up. Hey, what was the, the, the? You know, if you did the. the, the, the <laughs> that would be terrible if that's what happened here. Stepping out onto the stage, uh, she walked into the spotlight and uh, stared at the head of the waiting microphone like one would a cobra. Meanwhile, Jun stood behind the scenes and straightened her uh, blonde hair. She smiled at her circle of friends. We haven't let her on, this, on stage looking like that, laughed Jun. That dress looks ridiculous. I wonder where she got it. Her grandmother's closet? Jun sounds like an asshole. Two of Joan's friends stood next to her and giggled in response. Look how thick her legs are, one of them commented. Okay, girl, it's time to make her a superstar, Joan said, and pulled a hefty tomato from a shopping bag. No one will notice us uh, from here, and if they do, we'll, we'll all just be forgiven anyway. I never get in trouble for anything, Joan smiled. Wow. It's nice that she's uh, expositing so much. At that point, Anko began to sing and could instantly tell her voice was trembling wildly. Her nerves were everywhere and her confidence had uh, never come around before the performance. While she tried her best to compose herself on stage, she noticed something out of the corner of her eye and turned just in time to see a large red uh, tomato appear out of nowhere. Recognizing it as, as a humiliating weapon, she instinctively raised the heavy folder and caught it between the flaps. It seemed as though her several years of football weren't wasted, but just when she assumed the tag was over, the tomatoes kept coming. As they flew through the air, she let the first tomato roll to the floor so she could hold the folder in both hands. Hitting the next two with dexterous swings, she felt her heart race within her chest. Meanwhile, in the large hall, they applauded, calling out in support. Another came, and then a filth, and six managed uh, to turn her around as she ducked in hopes of avoiding it. As she did, she spun back her time before the next volley in time to see Jun's face. As the next tomato flew, Anko reached out and caught it in... Okay, I was fixing to say, it'd be cool if she did that. A moment later, she used all the power in her arm and flung the tomato back behind the curtains, uh, striking Jun right in the middle of her painted face. <laughs> That's pretty funny. The blonde shrieked in fury as the audience burst into a fresh wave of laughter and applause. Moments later, the teachers hauled a red and wrinkled Jun from behind the scenes to the delight of the audience, and Anko received the first prize for the most unusual performance, as well as the long awaited bad mark in mathematics. <laughs> that, that would be uh, pretty impressive if someone was able to do something like that defend themselves while, you know, doing like a performance. <laughs> okay, so, prom. Enko, are you uh, coming to the school ball today? Hayato asked, uh, looking uh, long into her eyes. Hayato's uh, beauty was not immediately noticeable by those who are not accustomed to standing out, but also by those uh, known who, who know their advantages that I hesitate to use them. Hayato had uh, blue eyes, a piercing glance, and long, gorgeous eyelashes. I, um, Anko lost herself in that gaze. I'd like to, but I will be out of place there, Anko felt herself blushing. But at least she answered honestly. You want Hayato, I, I smiled. After all, I want to dance with you. Then of course, Anko blushed uh, more and held the books to her chest. 
Then she looked cute and fragile instead of determined and bold like she did on the football field. Later that day, Anko sorted through her closet, the clothing flying uh, to lay on the couch, not tables and floor. Is this a school competition? Yukari asked, peering into her sister's room, or a date? None of your business, Anko answered, trying to slam the door, but Yukari did not relent. I can let you borrow a dress, Yukari teased. Sorry, sister, but your size never fits. Anko finally uh, managed to push her persistent sister from the room, uh, dress, and make her way to the school hall. The hall was crowded. Anko immediately lost herself in the light of the... Sofits? Not sure what that means. The darkness of the hall, colorful lights sliding along the floor and on the walls. I, I, there's, there's definitely some uh, spelling errors in this game. Uh, where's Hayato? She thought. I can't see. There! Enko went to him, but stopped in time to see him in the company of Jun and her friends. Jun and Hayato smiled mockingly, looking at Enko. She came in a seraphan. Jun whispered loudly, and everyone uh, around her laughed. You know, I don't think it's smart to uh, be picking on uh, picking on Echo. It's it's a, it's an asshole move, you know, pick on anybody. But they've hinted about her legs being, you know. Kind of strong, you know, because you know, being a bit muscled because she plays sports. So, is that really a something you want to risk making contact with your ass or any other part of yourself? Uh, yeah, you would think that that would be a bad move, you know, like uh, she could literally beat the, the, the crap out of Joe in there. Uh, Inko felt tears well up in her eyes and hurried to the door, completely embarrassed. As she did, a melody uh, for a slow dance began. A couple of close friends were already slowly circling the hall, including Hayato and Yun. Inko uh, ran to the exit, not noticing the tears spilling down her cheeks, but she did notice arms suddenly around her, holding her protectively. You, Inko uh, at her with surprise. Did I, didn't I say you couldn't leave the house? Don't get to argue with me today, Yukari shook her head with a smile. I already want, I already want to dance, and I'm so tired of dancing all alone in silence. Only uh, now I go notice the beauty of Yukari's outfit. Yukari was dressed in a black and red dress that accented her curves, long gloves that reached her elbows, and elegant patent heels. Why is Yukari not allowed to leave the house? There's something, there must be something medically wrong with her. Like, uh, with the, uh, anything about her, you know, really bad memory. Hmm. Let's uh, dance, suggested Yukari softly. I don't know how, Anko whispered. It's simple, just just leave me around like a ball. Yukari took her sister's hand, moved them both boldly into the center of the hall. Move me around like a ball? Like I'm playing a Katamari game or something? Seems like a weird dancing style. Smiles of spectators froze on their lips. The girls are assembled two ornate butterflies, one shiny black, the other cotton like white, fluttering around each other in the hall as if there were no other people around them. Who is she? Who is this beauty? The girl, uh, the guys and girls whispered back and forth as they lingered on Yukari. After this, Hayato approached Enko and Yukari, but his eyes never left the younger sister. Enko, who is this? Won't you introduce me to your friend? My name is Hayato. And this is my... Anko uh, began to explain, but Yukari silenced her in time with a finger. She simply shook her head. This is our time now, Yukari said, and pulled Anko behind her. A friend, Anko finished, and uh, it really is our time. And together they escaped from the ball, leaving behind a swarm of conversations, glances, whispers, and conjectures neither of them could give a damn about. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. What is the story there? With the... Uh, hmm. Interesting. We got, uh... 
You know, the funny thing is, the actual chapter with uh, Anko and Yukari, I liked less. But this this backstory stuff, I found actually more interesting because it brings up like, what is the what is the story with 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 the two of them? I mean, I'm guessing the Anko is really protective of Yukari. But what happened, you know? Something must have happened. Like, maybe she got hit, hit, you know, got some sort of some brain trauma or something. Uh, head trauma, I should say. And m that must have messed with her memory or something. It's the, it's the only thing I can think of. Hmm. Haruka's uh, scenes were... Were less... Uh, they're more straightforward, anyway. They were more answering questions. They brought up more questions. Not sure about this uh, Anna Sakai, how, how she'll be. Hmm. So. Oh. So we got most of the endings. We just missed one, two, three, four, five with with uh, them. And there's the hot springs, and then Anasaka, or Anasaka, then hot springs. So there are six panties we can get with her. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sixteen endings. So less endings, but we'll start hers in the next episode. So yeah, don't feel like I made a lot of progress this episode. Half of it was me being confused about what. <laughs> So yeah, uh, hopefully it didn't. But hopefully uh, you guys didn't mind it. Maybe you guys really enjoyed watching me be confused. But probably not. It's probably it, it, it is terrible content <laughs> uh, watching a guy be confused. But maybe maybe it was entertaining. Uh, yeah, you know I could say this is a guide for you know if if you need help with it, <laughs> a more visual guide uh, because the. It would be nice if that uh, if that uh, uh, guy listed the the panties that you're you know that you're missing you know. But anyway, I'm gonna shut up now. I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Uh, let me know what you thought. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't. So see you next episode. We'll be uh, seeing what, how this Anna Sakai is. So, hey there, folks.